Hey guys, Scott here, and I'm back with more Valhalla. Last time, we, um, let's just say, we overloaded Dorothy a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, and, uh, this time we're gonna serve this next customer, whoever they are. Um, hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Such a small, yet a comfortable place. Is that a tattoo? Is that your hair? Are you, is, is, is that the Riddler? Batman? Robin? Okay. Truly, an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly a real persona non grata. Per, 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 persona? I, I, Izanagi? O, or, Orpheus? Alright. It points to you if you get that, even though, I mean, the popular that that is from is, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that wild to think that you would get that. Anyways, that's Latin for a mysterious place, by the way. I am so smart and philosophical. Somehow, I doubt that's that means mysterious place. For one, I don't think that's what persona means. I mean, I've heard some persona in my days. Izanagi. I forget all the other ones. <laughs> Never mind. Um. Oh, this is it's like the same joke I, I made before. Um. All right, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. <laughs> um. I actually look at what that means, guys. Guys, I'm gonna I'm look it up. I'm doing that right now. I'm doing it. I'm looking up the 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 the, the P E R S O N A non grata. What does it mean? An up oh an unacceptable or unwelcome person. Uh, from now on, these yellow journalists can consider themselves persone non grata. Or there's pronunciation here. Persone. Nan grade. Okay. Cool. Glad I looked that up. God. Okay. So this is the kind of person he is. Or she. Or it. They? Oh no! I clicked out! Oh no! Oh boy. Guys, I'm sorry. I mean, it didn't do anything for you, but I mean, I couldn't see anything. Anyways. What will you have then? Seventeen. It, excuse me. I said seventeen. Seven plus teen. Tw. Tw. Twenty one. <laughs> oh boy. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? I think it means, yeah, butthole. Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. 17? What the heck does that mean? I... <laughs> Maybe the amount of things we have to put in the dr I don't know! Yeah. I didn't want a puzzle game in my bartender simulator. Oh no! Wait, the, I know. I remember now. No, not the, about the drink, but like I just remembered the kind of guy this uh, person this is. So we can just give him whatever. We'll give him a super sour one. I don't care what seventeen means. I'll gladly take a hit to my points for that. Um. There we go. We'll give him a Zen Star. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Four of each ingredient. 
You'd think something so balanced would actually taste, taste nice. You'd be dead wrong. This is what you get for uh, trying to confuse me with your 17 BS. Like, really? Just say what you want to drink. If you don't know, just ask me what I would give you. What I would drink. Like, I mean, it's not that hard. I made it wrong. Can, can I just serve him this? Oh, I only put, uh, one of Powder Delta in there. Okay. I want to serve him that. I'll give him an actual drink. But I, I'm not, I'm not figuring it out. Like, really? Like, come on, man. If you don't know what to drink, just... I, I did it again. Like, seriously, if you don't know what to drink, just ask someone what they would what they would want. Ask someone what's good. Like, seriously. I, I, there! Who is this, a 17? Hmm. You just asked me what 17 meant to me. What am I supposed to think a 17 is? I'm sorry. This guy's getting me really mad. It isn't. Said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was. And I think it was. It isn't. Oh, you subverted my expectations by, pay by taking me literally sneaky. And what brings you here, Mr... I'm Armandio. Virgilio Armandio. I feel like that's not your real name. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because it's a lot more polite. He's a weeb. He's a weeb. Guys. I found a weeb. Like, he's worse than Streaming Chan. He's a weeb. Like, Streaming Chan was a weeb. But this guy. He's a weeb. Right. And I came here looking for an uh, otherworldly, worldly experience. Go screw yourself. Rue yourself. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valha. I hope this guy doesn't come back, like really. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. I hate this guy. Like, this guy is the worst. Okay. The Golden Hall, full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. No, 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 you're taking me... You're taking me too literally. Oh! Oh! So you mean when he took the name of this bar? and tried to like say like oh actual Valhalla but I don't mean that literally okay maybe he's trying to say this 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 bar has to have the spirit to live up to its name okay you see I'm being poetic sure you are buddy I'm giving a mis mystical air to a mundane affair. No, you're being a butthole. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going in the streets, though. Cubans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. But say he's having more, uh... Exciting time in this. Hmm. Here, dealing with Virgilio. She's over there dealing with terrorists. I mean, I wouldn't want to meet a terrorist in real life. That'd be horrible. Um, but like... I'm not gonna say this guy is worse than a terrorist. Because he's not. That's a stupid thing to say. But he's annoying as heck! Anyways. Uh... Making a ruckus, coming at each other, but that's to be expected from the, the only animal, the only mammal to kill its own. Lie. I was about to say praying mantises, but they're not mammals. 
Well, they do, the, the females eat the head of the males. Or maybe that was a certain type of spider. I'm pretty sure it was one of those. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, then give me an example, non-zoologist -zoo -zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know the exact details, I just know that isn't right. Memory serves right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another another lion is killed or something. Poofed! Takes over a pride, you can't take over pride. Oh boy! Pride is an intangible thing. What? Didn't didn't he just say that I was taking things too literally? I don't like this guy. You need to stop making things up, non zoologist bartender. Going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? I don't care. The, at the atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know? Oh boy. The, uh, the group where halogens are, are in the periodic table? Summing up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Dude, wh who are you? I was about to say, have you been to school? But I mean, not all people have gone to school. Like, I mean, while that is sort of like a law, I think it's a law, like, people have to actually go to school. But like, not everyone passed school, but like, at least the periodic table, you should, no, a pride, a, a, a lion pride. Have you been living under an actual rock? Like, not, not figuratively, like you try to say things are, and not the other kind of literally like you try to say things are. An actual rock. It's the only way he... I... Okay. Maybe he's just dumb. I don't know. Okay, then. I give up. 17 is us. Is it now? Please explain! Uh, eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. I don't think that's accurate. It could... Wait! What?! Why would you know that and you wouldn't know about the periodic table?! The... Okay, they are different branches of science, but... D Has he learned everything from the internet? Oh, that's right, he's a weeb. There we go. It's... 23. Yeah! There we go, it's 23! What is... Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. What's a primal number? Oh, leave, please. Pr pr primal? Do you want anything else? Say no. Okay, I know what this is. I'd like a single plum, floating in perfume. Served in an served in a man's hat. He's worse than that. He's worse than that art guy. I think that was the name. The the detective guy. I could tolerate the that guy. This guy. He just needs to leave. Okay, I'll give you a fedora. Okay. He wants a plum floating perfume in a son of a boot. Yeah, it's a fedora with perfume and a plum. Ugh. Plum fume. Here, if if you have a problem with this, this is literally exactly what you wanted. He's gonna have a problem with it. He's gonna be like, I didn't mean that literally. Huh. You didn't wait, you did. Enjoy. I will. I'll drink this. Um. <laughs> you get what? You no, that's not it. You reap what you sow, Virgilio! I rhymed that. That makes me better than you. You say you're poetic? How about you try and rhyme? Yo! Something, something. Sew up a sweater. Then you're gonna go out in the weather. 
That's not very good. You're in the rain. Uh, then you gotta wash out of steam. Cause the water is acidic from the rain. I put rain, rain twice. <laughs> okay, um... You really don't have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. You... I'll tell you this, Virgilio. You didn't really have a chance. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? Actually, yeah. Ow. What if we're already dead? We're not. What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? Okay. That actually is something a little profound. As long as you don't mess it up with your next sentence. Like, that could be something that you could think about. Like, if I never played this game, who's to say it ever even existed? If you want to be really egocentrical. I think that's the right way to use that. Self-centered. I don't know. Like, if you want to think about it like that. Like, you think like, Ooh, I'm the one. I'm not going to do anything special, but like, Nothing exists if I don't see it. Yeah, I just sort of made it sound stupider. Um, it's something sort of weird to think about, though. Like, like you're self-conscious of yourself, but you're not self-conscious of anyone else. Else, else conscious? I don't know. I don't know. It, it is a sort of weird idea. Yeah. How can you assure me that this reality is real? It's real. Um, and that we were not in, the, in heaven or heck all along. I don't know. I don't care. What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an un unemployed 20-something in his room? I mean, this game probably is. Um, well, not to say that the creators of this are like unemployed 20-somethings in their rooms. Was this made by one person? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm going off on a tangent on this. Um, we're not that much of a tangent, it's still related to it. I don't know. I could punch you to make you feel reality. Yeah, do it! Do it! Do it, Jill. Jill. Do me a solid. Punch him in the face. I'll never mess up a drink again. I'll look up a guy. Punch him in the face. Give me an option to have Jill punch him in the face. Please. I do not like this man. I do not. He probably got like a sharpie and drew that on his own forehead. I don't care about any of that actually. Good job, Jill. I can agree with you there. Uh, this reality is real for me and that's all that matters. Such a closed-minded way of seeing things. Or sort of a commonsensical way to see it. I mean, sure you could get all philosophical about it, but I mean... Stuff like that, I mean, unless you can find a way to prove it, I mean doesn't particularly matter. I mean, we're here. That's a miracle in and of itself. You need to get away from the factual facts. Are you the kind of guy that would like to say, Ooh, common sense. Who needs that? Because I'd love to punch people like that. And I, I never punch anyone, but if I, but I had to, if I had to. Those are the kind of people I would punch. Like, Okay, I mean, sure, common sense is sort of based upon things that we sort of assume, like, oh, you shouldn't kill anyone, but who said you couldn't kill anyone? Just because it's bad? Oh, but don't kill anyone, don't do that. Don't hurt people, don't, 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 don't be mean. That's all. That's all I need. That one thing. That's all I need. Don't, 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 don't be, don't be bad. That's all. No, don't, 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 don't try to say your, like, definition of bad is different. I mean, just don't. I mean, it could be, but just, just don't, no, don't be bad. You know, that's all. That's, that's the only common sense really anyone needs. Just don't be stupid. Yeah, there we go. Those two things. Don't be stupid. Don't be bad. Um, and again, you could say your definition of stupid and bad is different. And I'm sure there are people that are like, that is an actual truth. But I mean, mostly like, yeah, don't, you know, you, you know what it means. Don't, don't be stupid. Don't be bad. You know. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. This is the kind of guy I was talking about before. The kind of person who would just go out in the wild and be all like, 
I'm gonna find myself. I'm gonna burn this money. Nobody could use it, right? Ugh. The Habanera has started. It means the Twilight of the Gods in German, by the way. A hab habanera? I don't know what that means either. I'm not gonna look it up. I know for a fact it won't mean Twilight, Twilight of the Gods, though. Um, well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your New World Order. I'm good. Um, what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, heck. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful! Oh, God. Our TV went out! What are we gonna do? Actually, I don't watch TV that much. Mostly just like YouTube. I see a lot of flashes in the distance. Most likely, most likely gunshot, gunshots. Jill, come here a second. What? Oh, hey, TV's back on. About five gigabyte of reports proving that several white night squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. I wonder who it could be. Totally not Alice Rabbit, unless Alice Rabbit is like a cover for that group. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, or we're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counterterrorism forces from their neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corps' the CEO on the subject, but until then, things are ugly in and outside of the bank. Out in and outside of that bank, it seems. I recommend you stay here here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. Uh, what if what if they break in? They won't. Even then, this bar is quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I'll stay the night. Stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. Uh, let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have, uh, I'll have Zangat Zangatu on hand just in case. That the metal bat with nails? There's nothing you can't bash, especially when I go Banka! Wait, that's Zampakuto. <laughs> ah. Say Jill or. Yeah, her cat. Oh no! Say Jill, I mean, he's probably gonna be fine. I don't really care much about Jill. I mean, he's cool and all, but you know, we, we actually haven't really seen much of him. But say in four, oh boy. I uh, hope everything's better by tomorrow. All right, mistakes two. Where was the second mistake? Where else did I miss? Where did I mistake it? That's not the way to say that. But what? Flawless service bonus? No, my flawless service. I don't really care. If I have to, I can always just replay that part. Not that I'm going to, but you know, <laughs> sleep tight. I'll protect you. Oh, Dana, Donna, Troy. Keep on making that joke, sorry. Um, $4,145, wow. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Jill, Jill, Donna, Dorothy. I know all four of them now. That's... I forgot her name. Oh no! I know that's probably Jill. That's... Dana, that's Dorothy. I know her, but I forgot her name. D Dor... Stacy. That's probably your name. I got it. It's probably not her name. All right. Um. All right. Well then. Uh. Yeah, we're we're pretty good on time. So in the next episode, uh, guys, we're uh. I guess we're gonna hopefully have made it through the night, or maybe we're just dead, and that's it. That's the end of the game. I should have gotten that flawless service. Dang it. That's why we're gonna die. It's game over. No more! We're gonna be dead. That's it. We're done. Game over. <laughs> so I'll see you, uh, incredibly annoying weebs. N not that you're incredibly annoying. I mean, that, I'm talking about the, 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 the Virgilio. Not, not you guys.
I'm sure, I'm sure you could have guessed this by now, but like, what? Has this been like 16 episodes now? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, lost my train of thought. Anyways, I'll see you then. Yeah.